Dear students, please note down the PDF file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture. Please download your notes. Dear students, today we will discuss very important topic for final exam. BSc students, note down. Today we will cover female reproductive system of liver fluke, fasciolipatica. In our last lecture, we have discussed male reproductive system. As we know, the animal is hermaphrodite, monoecious, both sex organs are united. And today's lecture, we will cover female reproductive system of liver fluke that comprises a single ovary, an oviduct, large number of follicular glands. These are vital glands or vital area. Then, large number of efferent vital and ductules. A pair of anterior and posterior vital and ducts on each side. A pair of transverse vital and ducts. A single yolk reservoir. One unpaired median vital and duct. And this large central globular gland, which is made up of numerous unicellular glands, malice glands. This tubular part is, it is a coiled, convoluted tubular structure that is single uterus. And this tubular canal is it is Lohrer's canal. It is vagina. And this one is common genital atrium. Having both apertures, male and female gonopores. Dear students, today we are discussing female reproductive system. First of all, we will discuss ovary. This is the part. Look here in this diagram, very clear. Single ovary, which is right in sight. And this ovary is highly branched, irregular tubular structure. And the ovary is lined by simple cuboidal germinal epithelium. It means the germinal epithelium gives rise female gametes, ova, eggs, by oogenesis. Oviduct, second part. Oviduct. This is a small tubular structure. And this oviduct carries, it conducts the ova from this ovary to the uterus. Third part of the female reproductive system that is vital line glands, vital area. These are large number of vital line glands which are follicular structures present on both sides of the body. And these vital line glands secrete albuminous yolk and shell forming material. That's why it is named yolk cum shell material. Dear students, these vital and glands secrete white albuminous yolk and the shell forming material. Next part is different vital line ductules. It means from these vital line glands, fine ductules arise, which carry the secretion of vital line glands. That is yolk cum shell material. And these different vital line ductules 
fine ducts from these vital and glands unite and reunite to produce two large ducts this one is anterior vital line duct and dear students in posterior region this duct is posterior vital line duct it means two ducts large ducts anterior and posterior on each side and both anterior and posterior vital line ducts further unite almost in the middle part of the body and produce a pair of transverse vital line ducts and these ducts carry yolk cum shell material both right and left transverse vital line ducts unite almost in the center of body to produce a yolk reservoir to store the yolk from this yolk reservoir a single median a single median coiled duct arises which runs forward and it joins the ov duct and this duct is median vital line duct dear students this is median vital line duct from the junction of this ov duct and median vital line duct another large coiled convoluted tubular structure develops and this one is it is uterus and that uterus accommodates large number of mature capsules the terminal part of this uterus this terminal part of the uterus that is highly contractile having powerful muscles it undergoes constriction that is metratum means the terminal part which is metratum of this uterus undergoes constriction as a result these capsules these mature capsules are ejected in this common chamber that is genital atrium in this center a large globular gland which is formed by the fusion of numerous unicellular follicular glands mallis glands the secretion of mallis glands that lubricates the uterus for easy passage of capsules as well as the secretion of mallis gland activates the sperms to increase the motility of sperms and dear students note down the secretion of these mallis glands also involved in the separation of yolk and shell forming material which hardens the shell of capsule another very fine canal is there which lies at the terminal part distal part of this ov duct and this canal is bluish in color this canal is lorer's canal dear students it is lorer's canals this is copulatory canal this is vagina and it receives sperms during cross fertilization dear students in this liver fluke the common chamber for both reproductive system that is common genital chamber or atrium and that atrium possesses both apertures male gonopore and female gonopore this is all about female reproductive system of liver fluke fascula hepatica that system having following parts single ovary which is in right side of body and this ovary is highly branched tubular structure and the ovary is lined by simple cuboidal germinal epithelium that epithelium gives rise 
female gametes eggs ova by oogenesis and these eggs are conducted by a single oviduct which is a fine tubular structure and the distal part of this terminal part of this oviduct having a canal which acts as a copulatory canal which acts as vagina and this lower canal or vagina or copulatory organ that receives sperm during cross fertilization in this center a large globular glandular structure having numerous glands these are unicellular glands named malice glands and the secretion of these glands lubricates the passage of capsules in the uterus as well as secretion of malice gland increases the motility of sperms dear students as well as the secretion of this malice gland separates yolk and shell forming material as a result the capsule becomes hard in this middle part a single median vital line duct and this median vital line duct which receives which carries yolk that is stored in this yolk reservoir and this yolk come shell material comes from the secretion of these vital line glands from these vital line glands fine ductules arise these are different vital line ductules and different vital line ductules of both sides anterior and posterior unite to produce anterior and posterior vital line ducts on each side these anterior and posterior vital line ducts unite refuse almost in the center and produce a pair of transverse vital line ducts and these transverse vital line duct almost in the center of body produce a sac yolk reservoir and that yolk come shell forming material is carried via median vital line duct and this particularly this part uterus that stores having large number of capsules and the terminal part of this uterus is metratum and that metratum having powerful muscles which constrict to eject these capsules in this chamber it is common chamber this is female and male common genital atrium and in this chamber both apertures male and female gonopores are present dear students this is all about the reproductive system male and female reproductive system of liver fluke in next next lecture we will discuss life history development larval forms of liver fluke thank you